वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन द वीडियो सेशन में हम ऐसा पति बात करना यूनिट फोर इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन अंडे अल्टरनेटिंग करना इधर पति बात करना इधर ला फर्स्ट पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कसिंग इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन अंडे नेक्स्ट हाफ चैप्टर में हम अल्टरनेटिंग करना इन यूनिट थ्री वी आर ब्रीफली एक्सप्लेन when the current flowing through the conductor nearby the magnetic field is deflected by wasted excitement the conclusion is when the current carrying conductor produced produces a magnetic field later i am here found that the current carrying loop behaves as a bar magnet abinu solipa a current carrying circular loop behaves as a बार मैग्नेट अपने सुनिए पाम। तो अपन इन द रेंडे एक्सीमेंट है ना सर ना वायस्टेड एक्सीमेंट इस व्हेन द कारण फ्लोइंग थ्रू द कंडक्टर मींस इट प्रोड्यूसेस ये मैग्नेटिक फील्ड अंडर द लेटर ही आंकर कंक्लूडेड द द कारण क्या है सर्कुलर रूप बिहेव्स ऐसे ये मैग्नेटिक डाइपोल अपने सुनिए पाम। तो इधर वाले रिवर्स इफेक्ट अपन इस स्टडी पर लगा रहा है माइकल फार्डे वाला। द माइकल फार्डे डेमोनस्ट्रेटर द एक्सपेरिमेंटली द रिवर्स इफेक्ट ऑफ वाइसेंट एक्सपेरिमेंट। द रिवर्स इफेक्ट ऑफ वाइसेंट एक्सपेरिमेंट। व्हाट इस दिस अपने ना व्हेन द करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर एसोसिएटेड विद � तो अब मैग्नेटिक फील्ड वेरिएशन वन दो उरी इलेक्ट्रिक करंट का प्रोड्यूस पन्नो अपनी क्या रहता है एक्सपेरिमेंटल आ ना हम लोगों को सुनना वाले आर सर में माइकल फैराडे तो आप ना माइकल फैराडे वाले इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन का पति था हमने इंदर असल में ब्रेक पर हमने पाप को सो दिस इज द एनएसआर अपने ना व्हेन द करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू द कंडक्टर एसोसिएटेड विद द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड अपने ना the magnetic field also produces an electric current that is called electromagnetic induction so before seeing the electromagnetic induction what is the definition of magnetic field magnetic flux first nam eda pathi sir discussion panna porana magnetic flux nai the magnetic flux is indicated by a letter phi b magnetic flux nai nam paaka porana मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स ना पाई बी अपने नाम से ओके द डेफिनेशन इज़ द टोटल नंबर ऑफ़ द टोटल नंबर ऑफ़ मैग्नेटिक लाइंस ऑफ़ फोर्स मैग्नेटिक लाइंस ऑफ़ फोर्स क्रॉसिंग थ्रू द क्रॉसिंग थ्रू द Given area normally, this is the magnetic flux. Okay, okay. So, for magnetic flux, let us consider the closed area Y. Up in another one, the area of drop on the normal line is called N cap, or the area vector. इधर वो रोमांस क्वेश्चन के बाद, what is the angle between area and area vector अपने ना pi by two or ninety degree? अब ये area वो जो draw करना पड़े इधर normal line ना था ना यंग का, अलग ये area vector ना था। इधर ये area vector को magnetic field को ना angle ना theta। अब theta भी ये angle between area vector और मैग्नेटिक फील्ड वेक्टर अपने से को अब तो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इसे स्केलर क्वांटी इट इस एक्सप्रेस बस पाइ बी इज़ इक्वल टू बी वेक्टर डॉट ए वेक्टर बी वेक्टर डॉट ए वेक्टर पर टू वेक्टर प्रोडक्ट इसे स्केलर सो इट इसे स्केलर प्रोडक्ट इस बी ए कास्टिंगा बी ए कास्टिंगा बी ए कास्टिंगा � Suppose let us consider a small area dA अपने small area dA अपने ना इधर एक तो पूरी magnetic flux में है ना d phi b is equal to 
इंटेग्रल b वेक्टर द d वेक्टर और इंटेग्रल b d a cos theta b d a cos theta what is the difference between these two means phi t is the total flux crossing through the given area d phi t means the number of lines of the crossing through the small area d a come on to now what is the expression for magnetic flux na phi t is equal to p a cos theta phi t equal to p a cos theta come on to freedom come so what is the definition of magnetic flux na total number of magnetic lines of force crossing through the given area normally equation phi t is equal to b vector or d vector equal to b a cos theta अब d phi t is equal to closed integral b vector or d a vector equal to b d a cos theta okay here theta is the angle between normal drawn to the area to the direction of magnetic field अब magnetic field को area और drawn पर आपके normal line को in between दो पर angle ना theta अभी ना मरते जाओ पूरी दम पर है so अब ये what is mean by magnetic flux what is its essential अभी ना The magnetic flux is an imaginary lines. Uh, that is, the magnetic lines of force of the earth. We previously have studied that. Magnetic flux visualized from the earth. Michael Faraday imaginary or drawn in the lines. So that means magnetic lines. So, our magnetic lines of force is an either straight or curved lines. Either straight or curved lines. A unit not to pull tends to move in a uniform magnetic field. और मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ला यूनिट नॉट टू पोल मूव आवर पूरी एंड इमेजिनरी लाइंस ना मैग्नेटिक लाइंस ऑफ फोर्स इन सोलो எதுக்காக இந்த மேக்னெட்டிக் லைன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபோர்ஸ் யூஸ் பண்றோம் அப்படினா இட் இஸ் யூஸ்ஃபுல் டு விஜுவலைஸ் தி மேக்னெட்டிக் ஃபீல்ட் இட் இஸ் யூஸ்ஃபுல் டு விஜுவலைஸ் தி மேக்னெட்டிக் ஃபீல்ட் அப்படி நாம சொல்றோம் ஓகே சரி இதல கேसेस என்ன வாட் ஆர் தி ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் கேसेस கேஸ் 1 திஸ் இஸ் தி லூ This is the direction of the magnetic lines. This is the direction of the magnetic field lines. This is the area. The normal drawn to the area is M cap. The direction of magnetic field is B vector. Up angle theta is equal to 90 degree. Up in any such way, you know, the plane of the coil, the plane of the coil. The plane of the coil held parallel with the magnetic field. Parallel with the magnetic field. Put it on the board. That the the coil or the plane on the board is na. Na gani. This is one coil on the board. The coil on the board. The coil held like this. This is the direction of the magnetic field. This is the direction of the magnetic field. So normal drawn to the area is. This is the normal drawn to the area. So what is the angle between magnetic field and normal drawn to the area? Na? 90 degree. So upon 90 degree, na pan la pi b is equal to b a cos 90 degree cos 90 value zero. So zero. The coil is held perpendicular with the magnetic field. A perpendicular with magnetic field, na this is the direction of the magnetic field. This is the normal drawn to the area, yen cap. So both are same direction. Y theta is equal to zero degree. Theta is equal to zero degree. Apa phi b is equal to b a cos zero degree one. So apa b. 
5 is maximum. 5 is maximum. Aba when the flux linked with the coil is maximum na, when the flux linked with the coil is maximum na, the coil is held perpendicular with magnetic field. Or coil a magnetic field ke perpendicular a hoti hai na, ado or link a hai kula magnetic flux so ne pe sir na maximum aur kuri dhan paarenge. Aap idhle parallel anti parallel ne mar dilna. Parallel anti parallel and the coil is held parallel anti parallel with the magnetic field na maximum flux linked with the coil. Parallel with magnetic field na flux is zero. But unit of flux unit of magnetic flux is Weber. Unit of magnetic flux is Weber. Another thing Tesla. Meters square. Tesla meters square. Unit of magnetic field is Tesla. Area is meters square. So, what is the unit of magnetic flux? Na? Weber or Tesla meters square. Okay, ma. Okay. Next step. Faraday section. So, next step. This is our program. We are going to discuss the Faraday's. Experiments on electromagnetic induction. Faraday's experiments on electromagnetic induction. This is the first part. Okay. Faraday's experiments. Faraday's experiment. The first experiment. First experiment. A guy. The two ends of the coil is connected with a sensitive bolometer. Okay, let us consider the number of turns of insulator copper wire. The two ends of the copper wire is connected with a sensitive galvanometer. We know that the galvanometer is a device used to detect the flow of current in the circuit. Used to detect the flow of current in the circuit. A bar magnet N S. A bar magnet N S. A bar magnet N S remains at rest near the coil. Remains at rest near the coil. Now the galvanometer shows no deflection. Now the galvanometer shows no deflection. After what is the observation when the coil and the magnet very close to each other the galvanometer shows no deflection upon no current produced in the coil or no current flows in the circuit when north pole of the magnet facing to the coil it's moving towards the coil when the bar magnet moving towards the coil abina The galvanometer shows a momentary deflection. The galvanometer shows sudden deflection. We are going to the magnet that coil is moving in one direction. Galvanometer deflection comes in. So what is the observation? The galvanometer shows some deflection when the magnet moving towards the coil. So what is the conclusion? The current is produced in the coil. It flows through the galvanometer. The coil, the galvanometer coil is deflected. Which indicated by the deflection. So, but next thing, the same thing when the bar magnet withdrawn from the coil, the bar magnet withdrawn from the coil. Okay, now, now the galvanometer shows deflection. Now the galvanometer shows deflection, but the deflection is in opposite direction. So, first thing, the end yes at rest now. At this na, the galvanometer shows no deflection. Galvanometer shows no deflection. First, second, the bar magnet N S moving moves towards the coil. Towards the coil. Moves towards the coil na, the galvanometer shows deflection. The galvanometer shows sudden and momentary deflection. 
Next, the bar magnet is withdrawn from the coil. Withdrawn from the coil. Withdrawn from the coil. Now the galvanometer shows deflection. Now the galvanometer shows deflection, but in opposite direction. This is very important. But in opposite direction. Remember, in an assembly device, the bar magnet at rest na the galvanometer shows null deflection. No current produced in the circuit. First second question. Second, the bar magnet north pole facing to the coil and moving towards the coil. Moving towards the coil, na the galvanometer shows sudden deflection. Sudden deflection. This indicates the current is produced in the circuit. Third, the bar magnet. Withdrawn from the coil, the bar magnet withdrawn from the coil. Galvanometer shows deflection, but the deflection in opposite direction. But the deflection in opposite direction is the third conclusion. Okay, fourth. The bar magnet moving faster. Moving faster, rate of any movement in your brain, the deflection is maximum. Deflection is maximum. Deflection is maximum. Okay. Next, the second thing, the south pole of the bar magnet, the south pole of the bar magnet facing to the coil. Then it is moving towards the coil or withdrawn from the coil. The same results should be obtained, but in opposite direction can produce. The results are not correct, but the correct could be the current or the direction of the reverse work. For example, north pole, south pole, the current or the deflection or direction of the south north or the current or deflection opposite work. For example. Next step, in no one thought now, when the bar magnet kept the stationary, bar magnet kept the stationary, the coil is moving towards the bar magnet or withdrawn from the bar magnet, the same experience should be obtained. Remember, in the air sets not going to be empire, bar magnet and the rest of the way should be the coil and the move for now. And the coil and the way should be the bar magnet and move for now. One air sets not going to be. So what is the conclusion of this experiment? Na? There is a relative motion between the coil and magnet. There is a relative motion between the coil and magnet. The galvanometer shows deflection. This indicates some current is produced in this circuit. Okay, ma. There, ma. Please, ma. There is a relative motion between the coil and the magnet. The galvanometer shows deflection. There is no relative motion between the coil and magnet. Galvanometer shows no deflection. Puri dhan par. Ye the two ka naadu ka or relative motion hi rakna. Galvanometer ka deflection hoye the. Apa karan ka produce hoye the. Ye the two ka naadu ka or baale relative motion hi nila na. Galvanometer ka naadu deflection kaam hi kide. Apa karan ka produce hoye. Ye the the experiment ko or observations and conclusion. Ye the part is first experiment. And the second experiment is. The second experiment. Let us consider two coils. Let us consider two coils. The first coil is connected with a battery and a key. This is called a primary circuit, primary coil. The second coil has the same number of turns. And the two ends of the coil is connected with a sensitive galvanometer. Sensitive galvanometer. This is called the second coil. The two coils are placed very close to each other. The two coils are held very close to each other. Okay, now the construction of the second experiment is: let us consider two coils, primary and secondary. The primary coil is connected with a battery and a key. 
battery and a key and the secondary guy is connected with a sensitive chronometer G. Okay. First, when the key K is open, when the key K is open, no current flows through the primary guy. No magnetic flux is produced in the primary guy. But no magnetic flux liquid in the second guy. Our galvanometer is not deflection. Simple as one. Key open the trap. Galvanometer is in the deflection mode. First, when the key K is open, galvanometer shows null deflection. When the key K is closed, when the key K is closed, current in the primary guy increases. IP. The current in the primary coil is indicated by IP. The current in the primary coil increases from 0 to from 0 to certain steady value. Remember, from 0 to certain steady value. The galvanometer shows diffraction. When the TK is closed, when the key K is closed, na, the galvanometer shows deflection. Up, uh, primary in actual, what is happening up in, uh, when the current flows through the primary coils increases from 0 to certain steady value. Up, uh, the magnetic flux linked with the primary coil, the magnetic flux linked with the primary coil increases. Magnetic flux first step. When the key K is Key is closed. Key is closed. The current in the primary, current in the primary increases from zero to certain steady value. Zero to certain steady value. Therefore, the magnetic flux. Therefore, the magnetic flux linked with the primary coil increases. The magnetic flux linked with the primary coil increases. This tends to increase the magnetic flux linked with the secondary coil. So the magnetic flux linked with the secondary coil also increases. The magnetic flux linked with the secondary coil also increases. Okay. Upon the change in magnetic flux produces an EMF. Produces an EMF. EMF means nothing but potential difference. There is a potential difference between the ends of the coil. So the current is produced in the coil IS. Okay, now. So due to the current flowing through the circuit, the galvanometer shows some deflection. This is called induced current. IS means induced current. IP means primary current or applied current. These two currents are opposite direction. These two currents are opposite direction. So first thing, let us consider two coils, namely primary and secondary. The primary coil is connected with a battery and a key seriously. The secondary coil is connected with a galvanometer, sensitive galvanometer construction. Working. First, when the key K is open, no current flows through the primary circuit, the galvanometer shows null deflection. Next step, step one, the key K is closed, current in the primary coil increases from 0 to certain steady value. So the magnetic flux associated with the primary coil increases, the magnetic flux linked with the secondary coil also increases. Up, there is a change in magnetic flux in the secondary coil which tends to produce an induced current IS. Due to this current, galvanometer shows some deflection. This is step 1. Next, step 2. Step 2. When the key is open, that is the circuit is breaker. Breaker means the key K is open. Open means the current in the primary coil decreases. The current in the primary coil decreases. So the flux in the primary coil also decreases. 
flux in the primary coil decreases which tends to decrease the flux in the secondary coil இது என்ன சார் பண்ணனும் செகண்டரியில் இருக்கக்கூடிய மேக்னெட்டிக் ஃப்ளக்ஸ் டிக்ரீஸ் பண்ணும் நவ் ஆல்சோ தி चेंज இன் மேக்னெட்டிக் ஃப்ளக்ஸ் டேக்ஸ் பிளேஸ் அப்ப தி கரண்ட் இஸ் प्रोड्यूस्ड ஐ எஸ் தி கரண்ட் இஸ் प्रोड्यूस्ड சோ தி கார்னோமிக் ரிசோர்ஸ் டிஃப்ளக்ஷன் நவ் தி கரண்ட் ஆர் டைரக்ஷன் சோ தி டைரக்ஷன் ஆஃப் கரண்ட் இஸ் திஸ் இஸ் தி பிரைமரி காயில் பேட்டரி அண்ட் பி திஸ் இஸ் தி டைரக்ஷன் ஆஃப் கரண்ட் ஹியர் கரண்ட் growth ஆஃப் கரண்ட் டிக்ரீசஸ் So this is the secondary coil. This is primary. This is secondary. Here is its equivalent disconnector. Now the direction of induced current is yes. Puri dhan par. In the direction, in the direction, the dhan par the current decreases na, but direction of current is not changed. Alaga mene the prime red ko. In the direction, the direction same na, but induced of the current or direction mene reverse ho par. This is a very very important observation. இங்க வந்து கரண்டோட டைரக்ஷன் வந்து டிகிரீஸ் கரண்டோட வால்யூல டிகிரீஸஸ் ஆகுது பட் தி டைரக்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஃப்ளோ ரிமைன்ஸ் சேம் சோ IP டைரக்ஷன் does not change but the direction of IS get reversed so அப்ப வாட் இஸ் தி கன்க்ளூஷன் ஆ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் when the key a is closed the current produced in the coil in one direction when the key a is open the current produced in the coil in opposite direction this is the very important experiments for michael faraday okay here when the bar magnet moving brought to the coil the magnetic flux linked to the coil increases remember the bar magnet coil moving kondu varappa magnetic flux increases avu appa magnetic flux increases avuna ஒரு EMF ப்ரொ듀ஸ் ஆகும் அந்த EMF னால ஒரு கரண்ட் ப்ரொ듀ஸ் ஆகும் அதனால கார்னோமிக் வந்து டிஃப்ளக்ஷன் காமிக்கும் when the bar magnet withdrawn from the coil the bar magnet withdrawn from the coil the magnetic flux linked with the coil decreases now also the magnetic flux changes and EMF is produced அப்ப based on the two experimental observations michael faraday concluded and stated that tolas faraday's first law and faraday's second law ap what are the laws faraday's experimental observations michael faraday stated tolas first law first law is nothing but the definition of electromagnetic induction definition of electromagnetic induction first law what is the statement of first law whenever the magnetic flux linked with the coil changes an emf is induced ala gavaninga whenever the epalna whenever the magnetic flux linked with the when now the magnetic flux linked with the coil changes and emf is induced remember when now the magnetic flux linked with the coil changes and emf is induced eppala magnetic flux changes out there is a relative motion between the coil and the magnet continues in other words there is a A relative motion let us consider a coil and a bar magnet system north pole south pole the coil is connected with a sensitive galvanometer there is a relative motion between the coil and the magnet there is a relative motion between the coil and the magnet continuous you know the magnetic flux linked with the coil changes and emf is produced the induced due to induced emf the current is produced in the circuit this current is called induced current the phenomena of producing induced current is called electromagnetic induction due to change in the magnetic flux linked with the coil and emf is produced the current is produced the phenomena of producing induced current is called electromagnetic induction so 
Faraday's first law is the fundamental definition of electromagnetic induction. It is stated as there is a relative motion between the coil and the magnet continuous and EMF is produced. Okay, next. The second law. Second law gives the magnitude of induced EMF. The induced EMF is generally represented by a letter E. Equal to D phi D by D. The magnitude of induced EMF is directly proportional to the time rate of change of magnetic flux with the coil. The rate of change of the time rate of change of magnetic flux with the coil. The induced EMF in a closed circuit is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux linked with the coil. Now the second law is the magnitude of induced EMF produced in the circuit. Suppose E equal to minus D phi D by D means no. The negative sign indicates what na according to lens na which gives the direction of induced EMF. Either na ma arde class na paapa. Negative sign or ekini kena be na. Okay. E equal to minus D phi D by D. Apa either or the suppose the coil includes n number of turns. The car includes n terms na e equal to minus d by d p of n into phi b. n into phi b. Okay, na mga. Apa the second law gives the the second law gives the magnitude of induced EMF. Okay, na mga. Okay, so there are two laws of electromagnetic induction. Faraday's law, first law. Definition of electromagnetic induction Whenever the magnetic flux linked with the coil changes An EMF is induced The second law The magnitude of induced EMF Is directly proportional to the Rate of change of Magnetic flux linked with the coil Or E equal to minus D by dt of N into phi B when the coil includes n number of terms, the negative sign gives the direction of induced EMF. It later be studied in the topic lens law. In simply, the negative sign is nothing but lens law. So, after Faraday's law, we will come to the last conclusion. So, in the topic, we will come to the what is meant by magnetic flux. Magnetic flux of the total number of magnetic lines of force crossing through the given area normally. Magnetic flux is a scalar quantity. Magnetic flux of the energy is to visualize the magnetic field. The magnetic field visualize for the Gaga Michael Faraday imaginary drop on the straight or curved lines of the magnetic lines of force okay, so no. the magnetic flux is maximum when uh, the coil is filled perpendicular with the magnetic field the magnetic flux is zero when uh, the coil is filled parallel with the magnetic field next the Faraday's experiment plan main conclusion of the parting of Dina, there is a relative motion between the coil and the magnet is happening uh, the current is produced. Next, let us consider two coil system. The second experiment plan. The magnetic flux linked with the primary coil changes. Na. The magnetic flux linked with the secondary coil also changes. So the current is produced in the secondary coil. Okay. Ma. Up the end experiment plan in the corona, there is a relative motion between the coil and the magnet continuous. There is a relative motion between the coil and the magnet continuous abdina. An EMF is induced in. due to the EMF, the current is produced in the circuit. This current is called induced current. 
the phenomena of producing induced current is called electromagnetic induction so second law of the problem, it gives the magnitude of induced emf the induced emf e is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux in the coil if the coil includes n number of turns of e equal to minus d by dt of n into phi b n phi b appingirada total magnetic flux associated with the coil appingirada okay next one padina example 4.1 a circular antenna of area 3 meter square is installed at a place in madurai the plane of the area of antenna is inclined at 47 degree with the direction of earth magnetic field if magnitude of earth field at a place is 40773.9 tesla find the magnetic flux linked with the antenna field so for the given data as a first one the circular antenna area area cross section a equal to 3 meter square comma Installed at a place in Madurai, and I know the plane of the area of the antenna is inclined at 47 degree. But plane to drop on a point is normal to the magnetic field of the antenna. That is what I am saying. So, if theta is equal to what I am saying, then what is theta is equal to 90 minus 47 degree. 90 minus 47 degree. So, if 90 minus 47 degree, now 40. 3 degree, 43 degree करें, theta वाला इंगला करने हैं, the plane of the ये इतना मुझे plane of the ये अगर आंतना is inclined at 47 degree with the direction of the magnetic field. Suppose the normal to the plane of the area to the other magnetic field ना direct का theta ना रखते हैं ना, तो इतना उनको बोलो उनके मान दिशों, तो theta is equal to 90 minus 47 degree को ले 43 degree. The magnetic field B is equal to 4773.9 nano tesla. So nano is 10 power 9. So 4773.9 into 10 power minus 9 tesla. Okay. Find the magnetic flux linked to the antenna. Magnetic flux phi B is the question. The question. Apa area given? Theta B phi B question. Magnetic flux for another phi B is equal to B A cos theta. B A cos theta. The value of B is forty thousand seven hundred seventy three point nine into ten power nine. A value three meters by three into cos forty three d. Cos forty three d. Just the substitution मालूम है। B और A value, A value, then theta value. Next step, forty thousand seven seventy three point nine into ten power nine into three into cos forty three degree value zero point seven three one four. Cos forty three degree और A value zero point seven three one four. Okay. So if all the multiple parting na 89.47 into 10 to the power minus 6 is correct. So if all the multiple parting solve parting na is 10 to the power minus 9. Minus 6 is our unit bande. Remember 10 to the power minus 6 means micro. So 89.47 micro. So per the magnetic flux linked with the antenna is 89.47 micro Weber. Okay, next term for the na example 4.2 magnetic flux based on it. A circular loop of area 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter square. So ye value for the na na the value of ye is Phi into 10 to the power minus 2 meter square rotates in a uniform magnetic field of 0.2 tesla. 
the value of b is 0.2 tesla the magnetic field value 0.2 tesla if the loop rotates about its diameter if the loop rotates about its diameter diameter will rotate around which is perpendicular to the magnetic field the diameter of the loop is perpendicular with the magnetic field as shown in the figure find the magnetic flux linked with the loop when its plane is the magnetic flux over position in any given position first the plane of the loop is normal to the field the plane of the loop is normal to the field na theta is equal to 0 degree aba cos theta is equal to 1 so the magnetic flux phi b is equal to b a cos theta so of nothing but b nothing but b the value of b is phi into 10 power minus 2 meter square into the value of so value of a is phi into 10 power minus 2 the value of b is 0.2 tesla so apa multiply karna 2 phi sa 10 so 1 into 10 power minus 2 flux load unit tesla area over unit meter square tesla meter square a level tesla meter square a level apa the magnetic flux linked with the coil when its plane is normal to the field na it experience a maximum flux 1 into 10 power minus 2 tesla meter square the second the plane is inclined 60 degree to the field na here theta is equal to 90 minus 60 degree equal to 30 degree 90 minus 60 degree equal to 30 degree apa cos 30 degree is equal to cos 30 oda value root 3 by 2 So for 1.732 by 2, so 0.866. अब गास देख के बारी 0.866. Okay. अब दैट वो डी मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स पाई पी इज़ इक्वल टू बी ए गास थीटा. The value of B is 0.2 and the value of A is पाई इन के 10 पावर माइनस 2. And the cos theta value 0.866. So 2 into 5 10 1 nothing but 1. So answer 0.866 into 10 power minus 2 tesla meter square r one. In the second case, third case parallel to the field. Parallel to the field means theta is equal to 90. अपर कास 90 इज़ इक्वल टू जीरो कास 90 इज़ इक्वल टू जीरो सो द मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स पाई पी इज़ इक्वल टू बी ए कास थीटा अपर कास थीटा वाली इज़ जीरो सो द मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स इनके लिए दिखा है जस्ट जीरो सो अपर थ्री आर वी द थ्री रिसर्च्स आर फाइंड द मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स इनके लिए दिखल Phi t equal normal to the field na theta zero degree, inclined sixty degree to the field na theta thirty degree, parallel to the field na theta on the zero degree. Parallel na theta on ninety na normal po na. Yappi me theta t the angle between normal drawn to the area and the direction of the magnetic field. Inga ang plane na putol ka ni da ako ng ako kawin ka ni bisyo. If the loop rotates about its diameter, which is perpendicular to the magnetic field, the magnetic flux linked with the loop is plane. Its plane is normal to the field na theta zero, inclined sixty degree field na theta thirty degree, parallel to the field na theta ninety degree. This is very important for examination point of view and homework questions. So don't forget. Put it in your pocket. ओके अब इन द वीडियो सेशन में हम मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स में है ना फैरेस लॉस ऑफ रेट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन में है ना अल्मोटी लॉन उधर बात ही करेंगे ना आदर मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स के बेस पर नहीं तो पूरी है आह रेंड प्रॉब्लम्स हैं ना बेंचुली पाते हैं ओके
Thank you so much.